Splunk is a platform for machine data. We make software that runs on premises and in the cloud. Companies use it to do real-time and historical data analysis for everything from indie cars that are running on a track, to trains that are carrying cargo around the country, to servers, routers, and switches inside your uh, production environment to give you insight into things like uh, security incidents, troubleshooting, and all sorts of other neat use cases. We have a uh, small 10-node infrastructure right now that is hosting Docker Universal Control Plane and a Docker Trusted Registry available to internal and external uh, employees. The major use case that we looked at when I saw Docker was being able to compartmentalize our application and the many scenarios in which we demonstrate it for all the use cases from security to troubleshooting to Internet of Things. So the vision that we're working on right now is being able to enable employees and partners that represent our brand to be able to do demos or demonstrate our software wherever they are in the world, in whatever situation that they're in, always on time and everything just works. And that simple vision is fairly complex to execute on, or at least it was before we started looking at Docker. So one of the things that we're doing to solve that hardest problem, uh, we're using the Docker image as the format to take and bundle up a Splunk demo. We keep those inside of Docker Trusted Registry. Docker Trusted Registry is also hooked up to our corporate and partner uh, Active Directory servers so we can give people the right access that they need to the images that they need. After deploying UCP and joining all of these things into a big cluster, that we can take the very same image that was designed to run on your laptop and scale it and run it absolutely anywhere, which makes a couple of cool things happen. It makes the environment predictable. It makes testing easier. When a new version of Splunk comes out, we can have all the demo owners test new versions of that Docker image that are available just to them. And then the upgrade process, especially with what I've seen with Docker 112, should make it very easy for us to go from the hosted version of the current version of Splunk, turn them all off, relaunch them with the next version that we've tested and certified. Docker basically unlocked something that most people had given up on, like the idea that anyone anywhere that's authorized can just use the assets that we create and they just work. Mm -hmm.